welcome back to consecutive day 1145 of a diary of a rumpreneur um, today's topic i'm talking to talk you about is dreading those social situations so uh, remember to give this a subscribe share like and comment as the more people we get in front of the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon all the information about the challenge how you can get involved is in the link in the comments below thank you as always well, let's get started. So, uh, consecutive day, 1,145 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And today's topic is dreading those social situations. So, um, it's a bit of a, a bit of a, I feel guilty about moaning today, really, because today I'm out early. It's a... Uh, it's just after seven o'clock in the morning. I've been, I'm on the home straight of my run now, my seven and a half K run. And um, I'm moaning today because I, I, I'm going on holiday to, uh, to Ireland. Um, it is a holiday, I suppose, but it's uh, to see my wife's family. So my mother-in-law is Irish and she's got a big Irish family. So we're over there to see them. And every time I go, I always have a really good time. Right, I, I do. I always do, and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I haven't been for a few years now. I don't think I've been since before COVID, but we used to go every year. So it's the first chance to go back again, and it's to celebrate my mother-in-law's 70th birthday. So it's going to be a great event. There'll be all the family there. There's probably about 50 of them in total when you factor in kind of cousins and and you know and all the extended family, etc. So it should be really good fun. But um. People don't often know this about me. Is um, is I'm I am actually quite introverted. Now, I've I've had you know when I came out of university, I did a career in sales. So and my first job was was doing presentations to you know assembly-sized groups of children in schools. I um so I, I think I did a presentations to over a thousand kids at one point. Um, tough audience. Um, I then went into a sales environment where I was negotiating with um, multinational businesses like the Co-op and Tesco. Uh, obviously, it's hard. You have to be good at communicating, um, really tough customer base. And then I went into the medical sales profession where I was selling to surgeons. Again, they're probably incredibly hard uh, consumer base to sell to um, or decision making. In, in the, 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 I was selling to the NHS ultimately, but um, the National Health Service, if you're not from the UK. But anyway, um, so I can do it. I can communicate. I can socialise. I can build relationships. But I don't enjoy doing it, as a general rule. I, I'm now in the world of entrepreneurship. I've partnered with somebody who, is, who loves relationship building. He loves networking. He loves content creation. Loves all that stuff. Right? So he does what he loves. I don't have to do it anymore. I do all the stuff that I love, building the businesses, the systems and processes, you know, scaling. Um, that's the type of thing understanding the numbers and metrics that's what I like doing and um, that's the beauty of entrepreneurship we have choice so where does this all come into, into, into you know consideration of today's topic well it basically evidences that socializing is not something I particularly enjoy I can do it and I'm, I can be very good at it um, but it's something that I find an effort you know with some people I remember my first ever business partner he shafted me so it's a bit of a sore, stub sore subject but anyway he was the smoothest guy when it came to communicating with people he could charm his way into any situation and he did in many respects but anyway um it was just so natural to him the words the right words just flowed off his off his tongue and he was you know male female whoever everybody warmed to him everybody loved him some people saw through him mind you but that's another story anyway um but for me, I used to build relationships by um, delivery. Or, you know, if I said I'd do something, I'd do it. And then the relationship of trust and credibility came about. And then the relationship grew from there. I was very difficult. It was very difficult to just say a couple of sentences and have, uh, you know, really good rapport with people, even though we may have had uh, similar interests in some regards. So, so I find trips like this, it's going to be, it's all extended family. So it's family I'm talking about here. But even when it's extended family, you don't see them every day. There is that, that kind of dread in the pit of my stomach 
before you kind of go to these social environments. My, my brother-in-law, for example, really close to my brother-in-law, he's in sale, he's natural at it. You can see he's just, he just blows, you can go and talk to anybody. I can, but I don't want to, and I find it a chore, and occasionally I, I have to confess that I switch off when I speak to people if they're not holding my interest, which is a shocking habit. Um, and I need to overcome that. I'm very selective, attention-based. You know, if something interests me, I'm fixated on it. If something doesn't, I'm kind of thinking, how do I get out of this? How, where do I, I go? Which is awful to say, but that's who I am. So um, that's why I'm moaning today. I'm going to, it's going to be a great holiday, but there's going to be lots of social interactions that I will be fine and I'll have a good time and all that stuff, but they will be a chore for me. And um, the, the learnings from my diary today are that I fully understand that even though I might be introverted, you know, communication, people, relationships are so important to everybody because um, who are we without relationships? So as much as I don't necessarily enjoy the socialising part of life, that's a strong statement there, I do enjoy it when I push myself through the, the thought of doing it. And I think that's a, a really key point. Um, so ultimately what I mean is make an effort. Overcome, you know, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. I always talk about that. And I wouldn't say I'm uncomfortable doing it. It's just something I don't particularly um, want to do at times. But every time I push my through through that, I build new relationships, I enjoy myself, I feel better for doing it. It's almost like going for a run. The thought is worse than the actual part of running. You know, getting up this morning and going for a run was a horrible thought. I'm out doing it. It's actually been quite an enjoyable run. So um, that's pretty much it for me. Any questions or comments, uh, drop me a line and respond to everyone. Um, as always, uh, please give this a subscribe, share, like, and comment. As the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved, is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.